For this presentation, I'm going to show what a damaged 200 series key telephone unit looks like. I'm going to repair this. The reason that the amount of time is going to be involved in repairing this is this is a concentrator KTU, which is what's needed for a 30 button concentrator type telephone. These are very rare to find and uh, they're very expensive. So this one was damaged in shipment and I'm going to replace one relay, possibly repair the relay we're looking at. And then um, I have a new card here, which I can put in that and make that relay work. And then this relay is the one that's got the extreme damage. The rear of the 236A KTU. And then I'm gonna, I've removed the screws. Here's what it looks like on the wire, the relay terminal side. Here is the back side of the screw terminal panel. And at this point, I've already removed some of the wires, but these are the wires that will be left on the relay, and then I will remove the relay and then copy wiring down the new leads. The blue tape is telling me what terminals on the relay the wires go to. I drew out the contact pins and the coils from the rear view of this relay. So when looking at a wire spring relay correctly from the bottom up, it starts with the relay springs uh, one through 12. This is a split relay, which means five and six do not exist because of the mechanics of the relay. So we'll have springs one through five, and then uh, we have eight through 12. And then I have the coils, the upper and lower coil. This is, of course, representing the rear of the relay. I have the damaged relay removed. And the hole that the relay was in. This is an AK-14 relay. I don't believe I have any spares of this, so I may have to take the coils off of this relay and take another relay apart and put these coils on to have the right coil arrangement. The spring contacts are pretty common. I have placed a new relay into the module and I'm beginning to put the wires back on. I now have the new relay put in and completely wired. The next relay I have to replace is the H relay, and this is a 24 make relay, and every single terminal has a wire, so there's 48 wires plus the coil. Rear of the KTU with the terminal strip board, of course, off to the side. So every wire has to be marked and removed and then that relay replaced. Kind of a suck job, but needs to be done. I have half of the wires off. The springs that are vacant are the make side of the contact. So the wires that's left are the center post. And since this is only a make contact relay, there's 24 make contacts. So I'm half done with removing the wires. I have all of the wires off of the relay. So there was two contacts that had two wires. So I had 28 wires total on this relay. Here's what the mess looks like. Lots and lots of wire with blue tape marking where they go. I'm thankful that in 2025 I can do this when I want to and not be under the gun like the telco was when they had to replace a relay when it failed regardless of the time of day. Generally they did this type of stuff in maintenance window but it was still a tedious task. The H relay which is somewhat in the center of the uh, video here 
controls the lines 21 or 20, 21, 22, 23. And it's just all make contacts. And then you get down and it shows that line 6, 17, 18, and 19. 275 ohm coil. So this is a straight forward uh, relay. And thankfully, the contacts of this relay also go over the contacts of the J relay. And uh, fortunately, a lot of the doubling up of the wiring was done at the J relay. And almost every terminal has two wires on it. So it would have super sucked to have to change that relay out. Well, I had the new relay in the KTU mounting. And I've got all of the wires tied back down where they uh, go. I had one wire I put in the wrong place, so I had to trace that out and then move it to the correct terminal so that the wire I had in my hand marked going on that terminal was now at the correct place. So with all of the leads, thankfully on this particular relay, everything is an open contact. And the springs that's on the right side of the relay all goes into the um, kind of a harness up to the screw terminal board. So buzzing those out was actually quite easy. This is a painful task that I do not recommend people to try. Uh, I took the wires off and taped them and done it in such a way that when I put them back on, I kind of had an idea what layer they were so that it looked like this was, you know, not messed with. I wrote on here a whole bunch of things such as the terminals 1 to 12. They're actually reverse of that on the relay, but when you're working on this mentally, I did it from the top down only for marking the wires. In reality, the spring configurations are different than that. Rear of the KTU with the cover back on. I've hand stenciled the relay with the designation of what they are. So if someone's uh, following the schematic, they'll be able to at least know what relay they're working on. And then I did the H on this relay. So I used the, the nature alcohol and a rag to wipe off the old ink. Before I mounted the new relays on, I tested the coils to make sure that they weren't open. The last thing you want to do is mount a relay on and find out that the coil will not operate because it's either the wrong voltage or the uh, coil is open. Here are the dead relays. I will put these in my junk relay box because the coils are good, but the rest of the relay is toast. If you liked the video, please like it, subscribe. Thank you.